Hi, it's Lee here from Soul Botanics. Uh, this morning I am going to be going up to the workshop to fit a new uh, cooler bottle to my ski and change a cooler bottle. So the reason I'm changing my cooler bottle is because the previous owner to the ski had over tightened the outlet with the Jubilee clip to a point where it actually crushed it and it started to leak. So rather than try and repair it, which is sort of the best thing to do, just get a new cooler bottle which I've picked up second hand and it's as new. So that's what I'm going to do today. Lewis and Ricky are not available today. They are currently on the Isles of Scilly, uh, doing a little bit of work and also some fishing and scouting some new spots for us to go and investigate over the summer. So it's just going to be me today. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a no frills coolant, how to change the coolant on the ski. My ski is the uh, 2005 um, GTX Limited uh, and it has already had the coolant that um, done very recently uh, however due to the coolant um, leak and the change I decided to just do a how-to on it. So there's going to be a few mistakes along the way no doubt, um, I'm going to drop a few tools, I'm not going to um, edit all that out, it's going to be as it is in real time so I hope you enjoy. Uh, next time I, you see me we'll be up at the workshop and we'll be cracking on with the job. Welcome back, it's uh, Leaf Soul Alex. Uh, as I said earlier we're going to um, change the reservoir on this ski. As you can see here, what we see here, the first one I had it before had uh, over tightened the Jubilee clip to a point where it had actually folded in on itself on the plastic and was actually slowly leaking out here and over time it just got worse and worse and worse. Um, so I've got a new one which is here. As you can see it's all good. The correct bit of kit for the correct ski. As I said this is the GTX um, and this is what we fit. So this is going to be fitted in here, so I'm just uh, dead easy, even so easy to switch out, it's just a couple of clips and refitting these Jubilee clips. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to swap over to head cam and do the head cam with this as well and have you filming this angle as well. So hopefully you'll get, uh, it, when it's edited it's put together we should have a, a decent video uh, showing you how to do it. Uh, so we're going to put this, put this in, dead easy, you can only go around one way. Right, so this is the new one. Uh, we're going to fit, just fits just here, in like this. But before we actually fit it, um, dropping a bit of cooling with it, uh, we actually need to sort of, uh, attach the bottom hose. But before we attach the bottom hose, just make sure the Jubilee clip is just, I'll just, what I've done is just tighten it up on here to stop it uh, sliding down um, this pipe as I do it up. So let's get that on there. Nice and tight like that, as you can see, all the way up. There we go. And then what we want to do is just marry it up a little bit. Just make sure that pipe isn't when it's in, it's in the correct angle, which it is. There we go. Nice. So now we can loosen off this Jubilee clip. And uh, so it's the top. Okay. Here we go. Let's get that all the way up. It's nice into the top. There we go. On, nice and tight. Put that back into there. That's that. So, last pipe to do. Is in here. How is it? How are you? So, this time with that. 
There she is. So it's this one here. So one just goes onto that. Let's tighten that up. So remember, don't over tighten. Because that's what the, we had problems with this previous. With this little one, this grid so small, tiny little screwdriver to get in it. Talking about just a tad more. There we go, nice and tight. Right, set that lid off, make sure that's attached. It is right now. So, next bit, it has got food coolant already in it down here, and your coolant. Is in here. This is what you're going to do. And that takes, I believe, an M H5 to get that out there. Little Allen key style type of thing. Right, so that's what we're going to do now. Doesn't take a lot. There we go. And this is going to come gushing out. We buckle it. Right. There it is. There we go. Quite a lot, it holds about five litres, I think, just over. And the coolant, you need to make sure you use the right coolant. Um, this is the green one, which is for the Alley engines. Right, what I'm going to do because this is fresh coolant, and I'm doing this just a, because I've changed the uh, coolant bottle, I'm not going to drain it fully because I know there's no air locks at the moment. So just before it goes fully out, I'm going to put this back in, start doing it up. Because so I know that that has got no airlocks at all in it. I'll do that up. Not too tight. That's it. Boom. Okay, so. Oh, excuse me. Edit that bit out. Okay, so I've got the coolant here already. Improvise this. Just improvise this. Just to go into here. Getting it. As I said, it takes quite a lot. Okay. 
Let her get into the system. Here we go. Oh, that says max. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the ski up. I'm just going to give it a little start. Just to... Turn it around. Just get the key. I'm not on water at the moment, but I'm just going to literally start it up just to get it go around. at the max level which is good okay so button that up and there we go there we go there we go job done nice and tight nice with new fresh coolant up to the max level lids on all on done all done on all nice and tight Job well done. So all I'm going to do now is go do a final quick check of all my fit fittings that I've just uh, replaced. Make sure they're nice and tight, and uh, just check everything else as well. Make sure it's all. I always go around um, where the coolant is uh, has been come out from, dry it all out, and just make sure it's not leaking at all because you never know. Better be safe than sorry. Anyway, cheers.